Hello, this video is just a quick refresher on how to convert between the units used when measuring distance. So, we'll get straight into it. We've listed them off here, millimetres, centimetres, metres and kilometres. Now, how to convert between these? Well, first off, I'll just write a few of the uh, conversion facts. Uh, there are 10 millimetres in 1 centimetre. There are 100 centimetres in 1 metre. There are a thousand metres in one kilometre. Okay, so how do we convert between these? Well, first off, I'll consider metres to kilometres. Okay, now I'll write these down. In one kilometre, there is a thousand metres. So to get, to convert between metres and kilometres, to convert between this one here, which is a thousand to get the number 1, what I have to do is I have to divide by a 1,000. To convert between kilometres and metres, well, to get from 1 to a 1,000, I multiply by a 1,000. So, 2,000 metres as kilometres, or 2,000 divided by a 1,000 would give me 2 kilometres. And 3 kilometres, say, or four, or say 4 kilometres as metres, or 4 times a 1,000 would give us 4,000. Okay? So that's that one. The next one we'll consider is converting between metres and centimetres. Okay, so first off, there is a hundred centimetres in one metre. So to convert between these two, to get from centimetres to metres, to get from a hundred to one, what we have done is we divide by 100. Okay, so 100 centimetres divided by 100 equals 1 metre. So 400 centimetres, 400 divided by 100 would give us 4 metres. And to convert an answer that is metres into centimetres, we do the opposite, so we times by 100. Okay, 7 metres times 100 would give us 700 centimetres. Okay, next off we'll consider converting centimetres to millimetres. Okay, so in one centimetre there is ten millimetres. So to convert between these if we go from centimetres to millimetres, from say one centimetre to ten millimetres we times by ten. And to, so Okay, so seven centimetres, seven times ten is the same as saying seventy millimetres. Alright, and to get between from millimetres to centimetres, we divide by 10. Okay? Um, 90 millimetres, 90 divided by 10 is the same as 9 centimetres. Okay? So what we have here is a nice little table, a little uh, chart which allows us to convert between all the units of uh, which we use in measuring distance. Now in order to uh, convert between these units, the easiest way which I'd find to do it is because these numbers are like a 10, a 100, a 1000 that we're dealing with, basically all it involves is moving a decimal place a lot of the time. And I'll show you what I mean by this. Okay, so say what I want to convert, I'll start off with one, it's a little bit more difficult. Say I want to convert 7 metres into kilometres. Now, to get from metres to kilometres, what I do is I would go this way, okay? So I divide by a thousand. Now, I can get my calculator out and I can go seven divided by a thousand and I'd get whatever answer I'd get. But I'll show you what I mean by moving in decimal place. Now, because I'm dividing, this number's going to get smaller. So the decimal place is going to move that way. And as you're probably well aware, there's a decimal place after that 7 at the moment. Now how many times do I move it? Well, there's 1, 2, 3 zeros when I divide by 1,000, so that's how many times I move it. So 1, 2, 3. Decimal place ends up here. I'll write that in blue, and the answer becomes 0 0.007. Okay, so 7 metres is the same as... 0 0.007 kilometres. I'll go through another one. Okay, how about this one? 
9.2 kilometers equals how many millimeters? Okay, so to do this, let's think about what we have to do. We're going from kilometers to millimeters. So what we're doing is first we're going to get our number and times it by a thousand, times that answer by a hundred, and times that answer by ten. So this 9.2 here, the answer is going to get bigger. The number is going to be bigger because we're timesing. Okay, so how many times do I have to move this decimal place here? Well, let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six times. The answer is getting bigger, so the decimal place is going this way, and it's moving six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we put zeros here. Okay, so 9.2 kilometers, as far as millimeters goes, is 9,200,000 millimeters. Okay? We'll give another example a go. Okay, what I want to know is 90 millimeters. I want to know what that is as a meters. Okay. So how many meters? So let's work this out. What we're doing is we're going from millimeters to meters. So we're going dividing 90 by 10 and then we can divide by 100. Okay, so my 90 here, with the decimal place here, I have to move the decimal place because I'm dividing. The number's going to get smaller, you know, it's going to move this way, the decimals. And I have to move it 1, 2, three times. Okay, I'm just counting the number of zeros. So, one, two, three, I'll put a zero there. Alright, 90 millimeters equals 0 0.090 meters. Uh, what about one final example? Okay, what about 4.38 kilometers equals how many centimeters? Okay. Okay, to get between these, let's have a look. So we're going from kilometers and we're moving to centimeters. So we're going to divide our 4.38 first. We're going to times by 1,000 and then we have to times by 100. Because we're timesing, the number's going to get bigger. Alright, I'll write my 4.38 here and I'll count how many times I have to move this decimal place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, one, two, three, four, five. And I'll put some zeros there. Okay, I'll get rid of that decimal place. So, in 4.38 kilometers, there is 438,000 centimeters. Okay, nice. Now, what I really recommend with this, you really should know how to convert between this. This is one of these fundamental things with maths that you really should be able to do. Um, However, what I'd recommend is if you're stuck doing it, the first thing, the, the bottom the bottom line, the most basic things you should know is that there are 10 millimetres in one centimetre, that there are 100 centimetres in one metre, that there are 1,000 metres in one kilometre. From this, you should then be able to attempt to draw a diagram like we have here, okay? And in that same method that we did before. Using this, you should be able to convert between metres, kilometres, centimetres, millimetres, without really that much of a problem. The way one I'd recommend, especially if you're doing a building trade or something like that, to be able to convert between is millimetres and metres. Where, okay, to go from metres to millimetres, all up, you're timesing by 100, and 10, so it's a thousand. So you get used to this conversion of a thousand in between each time. Anyway, I hope you get really good at these. Good luck with that. Okay, bye.